Take it home, bro. Hey, brother. The world is going crazy. Talking about it. Oh, shine. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and whoever out there watching this video this morning, this is Attorney Commander J. R. Kupokpa Chesson Talk Show. Hello, and today is the 25th of September. I'm sorry yesterday I forgot the right date. That's because I started early in the morning putting my videos together, and after I got through, I got mixed up with the date. <clears throat> I'm sorry about that. But today is the 25th, and we are ready to get on another day with our topic and our research into what's happening into our country today. Now, as you will see on, the, on my left, I have a, a letter out to my people, a little note. My fellow Liberians, the time of the Liberian people is now. Do not elect any former government official of Ellen Sellis and George Weir's regime to any position, to any elected position ever again. The recycling of our criminals must stop. This is my introduction. The recycling of criminals in Liberia must stop. There are too many Liberians that are educated today, more than the people in Liberia that need to come home and help our people. There are so many educated, intelligent, and wise Liberians throughout the world that can come and contribute meaningfully to the upliftment of the Republic of Liberia. But these criminals who got in our country, Ellen Johnson and her group, George Weir and his group, continue to deny us the right to come home, build our country. They continue to place clauses and things in our constitution that bar us from being citizens of Liberia. This is too much. They got to cease and he says, I need my people to rise up now. Now we get into that. Okay? But let's start in the right manner. As you will see, I have three topics down here today. And I will get into each one of my topics. And what I was talking about, my note to the Liberian people, will be further emphasized in this aspect of my topics. So my first topic for today is President Donald Trump. What we are seeing in America today is unprecedented. What we are seeing in America today is a violation of our constitution and laws by one criminal rebel president called Donald Trump. And there is no reason for this. There is no reason for the American people to be placed in a situation where our president has come to the decision that he might not leave the office of the presidency if he's defeated by Joe Biden. Let me tell my American people loud and clear, Donald Trump and this 35 percent of American races cannot deter our country from the path democratic insight, foresight, continuity. 
Donald Trump and his 35% of wicked white people and poor, few black people and few Hispanic people cannot deter our country from its path of constitutional democracy. If Donald Trump tries to tamper with this election, firstly, we have to teach Donald Trump a lesson. Now, even he has already tampered with the election. He broke so many mailboxes. He put a, a, a criminal post office, postmaster general in office to carry out, facilitate his evil actions against the American people to maintain himself in power. Prolonged power. This cannot go on. Like Joe Biden asked, what, which country is this? This is the United States of America. And Donald Trump ain't no man enough to sway us to communism. Donald Trump is no man enough to violate the constitutions, the constitutions of our nations, of our nation and its several states by saying he will not leave if he is defeated during the presidential election. Donald Trump is not man enough to challenge the American people. Donald Trump and his baby racists that run it behind him at every convention, at every rally he has, they are no match for the masses of the American people. What Donald Trump is wishing for, for he and his followers, they may get it. Temper with our election. Temper with our election. All of us who are racist, all of us who you have turned, you racist have, have insulted, all of us who you racists have acted against to disparage our rights as citizens of the United States of America. All you racists who have turned against the people of the world of color will meet your demise when the time is right. Our system of democracy can happen. Our system of democracy cannot be run amok by one man and a few racist followers who have no compulsion of who they are and where they come from. Donald Trump is not an American. He's not an American more than any black person who is a U.S. citizen in this country today. And I challenge you, Donald Trump. I challenge you and your racists. I challenge you and your wicked people move against us, the United States of America, you will learn once and for all that no man is a part of the Constitution and laws of the United States. Not even a man who got Russia behind him and the world of dictators supporting him will fail Donald Trump. This is the United States of America. American people, we have a patriotic duty to uphold our constitution and laws. We have a patriotic and divine duty to stand up against dictators and evil men like Donald Trump and let them know that this is a country of constitutional democracy. We may have gone astray in the past, but it will not happen no more. We gotta stand up and continue to stand up to this evil man. Donald Trump is evil. He is Lucifer personified and we teach him that this is a Christian nation and Lucifer has no place amongst us. Aluta, continue. Carry the struggle forward. Donald Trump is not a man. Donald Trump is not a leader. Donald Trump is a criminal American who must be brought under control and punished severely. He and his family. Time of the working people. Now, racism, bigotry, hatred must cease and desist in this country. Must cease and desist now. This is not the 1960s or the 1950s when slave, when this was a slave country, when this country was disparaged as a home of slaves.
slavers. We are free men now, and we stand up to protect our freedom by any means necessary. Donald Trump, you're playing with the wrong people. Maybe black Americans are scared of you, but us Africans, not scared of you. Us immigrants, not scared of you. Us people who have suffered and been disparaged and enslaved for so long are not afraid of you, nor your followers. A hint to the wise is the finger. I know you're not wise, Donald Trump, but I give me your hint anyway. Try it. This November, in America, we blow up. And you will be to blame. And you will be punished severely for anything that happens in this country. Aluta, continue. My second point, George Weir, Wesson Guy Finley, and all these people that are selling Liberian passports, diplomatic passports, got to be brought on the check and put in jail. I told you this whole government need to go to jail. Now they themselves admitting that they can't handle the, the, the leading the government. They are rogues and, 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 and criminals. Now Bresson got Finley selling Liberian passports. This is the crux of criminality. Bresson got Finley need to be dealt with accordingly. He need to be put in jail and dealt with accordingly. These criminals cannot continue to persist in our country. Selling our passports for $2,000, $3,000 to warlords and criminals and, and terrorists and all these people. This is unbelievable. And sending diplomatic passports. You know what diplomatic passport is? They don't check your bags. They don't check nothing when you get to the airport. You show that passport and you go straight through. You be carrying bum. You could be carrying anything in that bag. And they don't usually check diplomatic bags. So they just put them through the eye and things like that. So if you're selling our passports to terrorists and all of that, this government needs to be brought on a check. and needs to be brought on a criminal international watch now. These people cannot continue to rob our country and steal from us and keep our educated people out of Liberia so they can continue with their stealing. Ellen Johnson Sullivan is a criminal and she needs to be brought down in any way necessary and put in jail and let me come and fuck her. George Weir is a criminal. He needs to be put in jail and this whole Weir regime needs to be brought under scrutiny charges against the Liberian people, for crimes against the Liberian people. We have tolerated this thing for too long amongst us. From 1970s to this day, we're still in this thing here with the corruption and the massive stealing. I ain't even going beyond 1970. I just bring it from 70 because this is the morning era. This is the morning age of Liberia, historical, future. From 1970, we came, we got rid of Torba, Tuckman. We got rid of the old regime. We brought Torba in with ideas for changes for Liberia. He was overthrown because of his own desire to educate Liberian people and send Liberians to come in this country. He came back with a, in the cause of the people. Destroyed our country. Ellen Johnson then took it over with these same communist people have brought our country to what it is today, the poorest nation in the world. How long will our own leaders rob us? How long will our own leaders cause us to suffer? How long will our corrupt leaders enjoy loyalty and support of our indigenous people who are still blind? Their own indigenous leaders have no respect for them call them native people. Tell us, if, if y'all had native people, you always succeed because they're blind. Y'all got Congo people. That's what, that what Don said. But it's NC. They don't have native people. They're Congo people, so they're fussing among themselves. 
So naked people don't fuss. They just follow and do what people tell them to do. This is what's killing our country. This is deception and the lies that killing our country. You think the problem only with ANC? The problem now with ANC and CPP is with the whole of Liberia. Our country is run amok. Our country is run as a criminal enterprise by Ellen Johnson Salif and George Weir. Anything that happens under George Weir reflects on Ellen Johnson Salif. She brought him to power. She recommended him to the world as the future of Liberia. And this is the future Ellen Johnson Salif had. I told you this woman is weak. This Ellen Johnson Salif woman is a witch. This Ellen Johnson Salif woman needs to be pulled from a high horse and put in jail right now so Liberia can rise, so our country can live. As long as this woman lives and is supported by George Weir and the criminal entity in Liberia, Liberia will not grow, will not prosper. These people are the enemies of the Liberia. Aluta, continue. A third point. Liberia's election 2020 must be secured by any means necessary. Our election must be secured by any means necessary. We cannot have the same people committing crimes and killings through our country to, and running for political office. I hear Edwin Snow has been one of the main people in this violence during the election. Alex Tyler, Ben and I, Uri, all these people that are causing disruption and chaos in our country must be subdued and imprisoned by any means necessary. We've come too far, Liberian people. We've come too far for changes, for a better Liberia, for a most honest leadership of our people. And we still can't get it. We still can't get it. They're keeping all of us out of this country, out of our own country so they can rip it off and steal everything we have. We gotta stop now. We gotta put these people in jail and teach them like all Liberian people. Do not support any of these old people in their position. But some guy Finley, all of them. President guy for stealing our passports, for selling our passports, that the greatest traitorous act you can perform against Liberian people. And I have no more feelings for you in my heart, brother. You could be flocked severely jailed for life, selling our passports. The time of the Liberian people is now. Rise up with me, Liberians. Let me come home and punish these people. Let me come home and set an example of the criminals that all Liberians will learn from and never participate in criminology. Ever again. We teach these people their criminal activities, their criminal lives, their bandits' behaviors must cease and desist. And we're coming after you with everything we got to jail you, punish you. Even people, our country means too much for us to give up to these evil criminals. Our country means too much to us to sacrifice time and again because of people we think are loyal and truthful. Cuba has nothing but criminals. And we need a leadership that will set the standards of decency, law and order, to see a leadership in life. The time of your life. See, it's over. Have a good day, my people. And remember, we are masters of our own fate. We are the captains of our own destiny. And we're going to take control. This criminal leading us 
these useless, dumb, ignorant, slum people leading us cause our country to follow suffer and our people to time of the night. It's now. Rise up, my brothers and sisters. Liberia is for us, not for these fucking criminals. Not for Ellie Johnson, Shelly, and us children. And we got to send a message, a loud and clear message to these evil criminals that the time Tony Commander J. R. Kapopa Chesson is waiting to go home and fuck these criminals without mercy and put them in jail for the rest of their lives. I ain't scared of Ben and I. I ain't scared of Ellie. I ain't scared of Weir. I ain't scared of no useless Liberian under the sun. I will come home and do what I gotta do. Don't give me the power to do it. Aluta! Continue. My lesson is done. Have a good day, my people.